Hello Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 31st of December 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you possibly can. Uh, is your holiday season, uh, well we, we've got the new year, um, so we've still got another few days of holidays I guess and people sometimes take a long time to get back to work after the new year as well. So we've got another few days but um, one thing that happens... Uh, after the holiday season for those people who celebrate Christmas is they often have a tree. I haven't had a Christmas tree for more than 30 years, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, and, and, and of course when I first lived in Thailand there were no Christmas trees were even available. I mean they just didn't have, it was completely unrecognized. Nowadays you could buy them in supermarkets I guess and although they're not, or certainly online you could buy them and of course that kind of thing facility didn't exist more than 30 years ago um, and there are Christmas trees oh, the Thai people don't really understand the concept of Christmas trees they think it should be a cone and I saw one huge tree outside a shopping mall recently where they could have extended the branches out to make it look like a shop to make it look like a proper Christmas tree but they let, put all of the branches downwards because they figure it has to look like a, a cone shape <laughs> and uh, uh, anyway, that's a by the by. So what are you going to do about your tree? Now, if it's a plastic tree, if you've got one, uh, I would suggest if you can, please try to store it because uh, we don't want to keep throwing away trees every year and getting new plastic ones. And I know that they're a real pain, but if you you should always keep the box, I guess, and put it in the box and put it away and uh, put your lights away. I wonder if lights have, they must have improved uh, when I was a kid and, and we always had Christmas trees, uh, every year we would bring out the lights and every year they would never work properly. You had to change <laughs> and it was always <laughs> one one bulb was not working and the whole lights would fail and you had to test each one one by one. I seem to remember doing that. They can't be like that anymore. I'm sure of that. Uh, if you've got a Christmas tree, if you've got a Christmas tree and lights, tell me about the technology now. I'm sure it's much better and improved <laughs> all those years later. Um but anyway, what can you do? So yeah, you can store your plastic tree, get it out again next year, and hopefully it'll be a merrier Christmas than the one it's been this year. I'm always hopeful. Uh, but if it's a, a, a live Christmas tree, what should you do? Well, try to avoid landfill, because uh, if you put it in landfill, they, it can take a, a long time to break down. The decomp... The decomp... Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the de <laughs> the decomp... Decomposition, I'll get there eventually, the decomposition uh, is much slower because it's oxygen deprived, right? Whereas if you put your tree out in the garden, if you've got a garden, it will break down much faster. Um, and uh, what about some suggestions? Well, the AP has some suggestions uh, of what you could do. Uh, apparently in the US there is actually a, a service that you can call, tree collection service in some states. Not all states, some states have that. But what else could you do? You could consider sinking your tree in a you know, a local pond to create a shelter for fish. That's interesting, I like that one. Uh, or you could put your tree out on its stand and leave it in the yard and, and have a, as a home for birds um, and put a bird feeder up there, that kind of thing. Uh, and if not, then you can just let it decompose outside. There we are, now I've solved your Christmas tree problems. That's the only problem I'm going to solve for you today. Oh no, it's not. I'm going to solve your Sudoku problem if you've not found out how to finish this Guardian medium level Sudoku puzzle. Uh, I'm going to do that for you now. There we are. That's my present for you. So let's get on with it then. So we've got ones blocking across here, across here and down here. And that'll give me a digit one in that square. We'll take one up to the top, one up here and one across there. I'll give us a digit one in that square. We'll continue with digit ones. I like them. They're doing well for me this morning. Haven't had breakfast yet. Actually, I'm wondering about breakfast. I went out for breakfast yesterday and it was not there. And it probably means they've gone up country for a few days or something. So uh, this time of the year it does get... It used to be terrible when I first lived in Thailand for New Year and also for Thai New Year, which we call Songkran, which is in April. Uh, it 
but food was really difficult actually because all of the local people just left and went back to their hometowns and getting food was really difficult and I used to store stuff and get it in freezers but now we've got so many shopping malls and they all and and department stores and they all have food courts and stuff like that so I'm never really could never really be stuck for with without you know easy to find food but um I'm just wondering what I'm going to have for breakfast and will I have to how far I have to go to get it uh where are we oh yeah playing sudoku we've got three blocking down here and three blocking across there that'll give us a three in that square I'm not seeing any other easy numbers yet. So let's go through the numbers in order then. There we are, second number I look at. There you go, two in that square. I think we'll just continue wandering around. Four blocking down here, down there. Six blocking down here, up there, and six across there. Six blocking this way, that way, and six up here. Eight blocks down here gives us eight in this square, eight going upwards. Give us an eight there. Yes, I know I've got a couple of singles. We'll just hold on a second though. Let's just see if there's any more eights and then we'll go with the nines. Okay, nine in fact blocks up there, so that that actually give us the nine there anyway. Um what is the missing number here? We better do that next, I suppose. Uh that's a six. So that's six blocking up to the top. And there we go. Six across here. This is going to be the last digit six of 20. No, not of this year because I'll be playing another game later in the day. Last Guardian digit six. Right then, I guess it's time to uh, see what's missing now. Let's look over here. What are we looking for here? We're looking for four, seven, and nine. And there are, oh, there's a four here. No sevens or nines though. 
4, 7 or 9, so we will not have 4, 7 or 9 in these squares. That's going to be 3, 5, 8, I think. Yep, 3, 5, 8, and can't quite say which is which. Along, oh, lost my mouse there. This is a 5, 8 pair, isn't it, along the bottom here? Okay, what else we're we looking for? What goes up here? Two, uh, five, nine, and no luck there. And this is five and something, two and five again here. Okay. Hmm. Hello, Guardian. What are you doing to me? Missing digits in this block are five, eight, seven. <coughs> All right, gonna have to look across the top then. Let's see what we're looking for in this row first of all. Um, two, three, oh, three, there we go. There was a three there, three blocking across there, three up there. I missed that one the last time around. Sorry about that. <coughs> and I see seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square. So in this row, there is our seven. seven and four block down here that's going to put seven and four into these two squares right one two three four five six seven eight and then nine will be the last number that we need for the row now we've got four and nine blocking up here so we've got a pair of four and nine in those squares there um does that help um not sure but anyway this is not four or nine so it's two and eight so how does that do if that's two and eight mm, no and then this is not two or eight so it's three and five in those squares and no no help across there oh, unusual 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 Okay, missing numbers in this column are 2589, 2589, I do believe so. And we've got 2, we've got 8, and we've got 9 all attacking this square here, so that's got to be a 5 then. So 5 blocking this way will give us 5 here, this has to be a 2. five blocks across here and across that way and down there and five blocking down here down there there's a five now I can get this but I can't remember what it is I uh, what did I say before I said I've got to go backwards in time this was nine and four so this is two and eight so this is not two or eight this has got to be a three. Oh yeah I, I remember now three across here three down here three across there there's our three can't be many more threes to get three blocking down here and across there. Okay, three and six are out of the game now, and I can get this, of course, because I just see what's missing here, which is seven and eight, and know that this has to be a five. And then over here, that is the eight. Should we start looking through again? I think we might. Two blocks across here, across here and up here. So there's a two. Four blocking like this and this.
nine blocks across here so we know that nine is in one of these two squares blocking up nine blocking up here there's our nine and four blocking up here will give us our four in that square <coughs> four and oh four blocking down here there we go there's the four there's the seven seven blocking up here puts seven into that square last numbers to get here are one eight nine and we've got eight nine together so there's our one one also blocking up here down there there's one nine blocking up here there's the nine nine blocking across here there's a nine this is an eight eight still needed in this square here eight blocking down there's an eight and the last number here is a seven seven blocking to the top seven across there there's our seven and uh, not much more to go now let's see we need twos can we get digit two still not quite sure on two how about four I'm getting messages oh it's spam uh, four blocking up here come on four four blocking up here and four blocking across there how about fives mm, not sure eight eight yes eight across and up and then eight across there there's our eight that's the end of the game of course two there and um, two blocking up here and up there now there's our two two across this way and this way just need a five in this row we need a nine in this block here nine blocking there there's a nine last number to go in is a five that's our medium level puzzle guardian I'll be back later in the day I hope um, I'll give you a, an update later take care bye bye